Welcome guys to another episode of Saw Pretzel playing Summoner's War. Today we will talk about arena defense because that that is an issue that fits for everyone because everyone to need need to think or set up an arena defense. Yeah. And this is my current arena defense, it's not the best. But yeah, there are a few points you need to think about when you set up an arena defense. There are different different combinations you can run and there is one really important thing you need to think about which is anti-illusion. Everyone who has illusion tend to fight those but they can illusion. If they have two illusions and a thick they can Lucian nearly every arena defense which has no fire monsters. That's why I put the Arnold in my arena defense. Yeah. And what else can you put? You can put in nearly every fire monster which is a little tanky like Chloe or Arnold or a Rakan but who has a Rakan and yeah things like like Vermos won't even help. Even though you have 30k, if there are two good Lucians, they probably deal 6 times 7k with their third skill, which is 42k. So probably everyone is dead except your fire monsters. And if they see you have an Arnold, they probably won't Lucian you. Yeah. What else can you think about? Yeah. When you set up an arena defense and you thought about anti Lucian, yeah, you can also use anti crit like cases because when they can't crit you they probably won't kill you in the first turn and then they maybe lose. Yeah. But except anti illusion what else do you have to think about? You can run either a sustain team like mine is at the moment. You could run a speed team. So you can get two or three turns while the enemy has no turn and then you kill them. Then you can run an armor break burst team with it is written in white because it's most of the time with a Darian or a Bella. Or you could run a double reviver comp. Double reviver comp are most of the times really strong if you have enough sustain on them. And it works best with something like Vanessa because then you're really fast as well with a leader skill. Or you can also use something like Bryant and Eladriel. I wouldn't recommend to run a double reviver comp with a reviver like the Mykeen. I guess it's called, she's called Mykeen, the, the Water Undyne. Yeah, and also not with the, with the wind. The wind, oh my god. The Wind Chloe, what's her, the Wind Epic and Priest, Michelle, yeah, with Michelle, because their re revives aren't that strong. The strongest revive would be from Iona, I guess. She revives you with 60% of your HP and the 3 turn armor buff. Yeah. But now, let's think about those defenses. The sustain defense. The sustain defense, like mine. It is, it is mostly just to, just to gain time and fight. Enemies probably won't hit you when they see they have to fight for like two or three minutes to win, and that's what I, what I want them to think. So if they see my defense, they say, "Oh my god!" Until I have killed that, I could have killed another three defenses with weak monsters or with. Not, not weaker with squishy monsters, let's say like that. Yeah, and so less guys hit me. Yeah, for, for sustained defenses, I normally, you can normally use things like Arman, like the Bryant, like Darians, and what I have in my defense, and also something like Akazis and Especially every tank and healer you can use in a sustained defense. And I really, really recommend to use a Vermos in a sustained defense so they can't 
put the healing debuff on you, so you can always heal up again. Like Jasun can do anyway with her fourth skill, but it is good to have Vermouth anyway. Yep. The next is speed, a speed comp. In a speed comp, you really need a speed buffer and the speed leader, like a Tyrone or where is he? Like the Shimiti, and even better would be Vanessa. Vanessa would be the best speed leader with, I guess, 33% speed in arena. There is also possible the Jemayer or a Beretta. Yeah, those are the speed leaders. And you really need a speed buffer, which could be something like the, the Light Harpy or the most common one is Bryant. I had a Bryant for short duration, but then I thought I don't like this kind of playstyle and I fed my Bryant. Yeah, and you normally you also use some kind of stuns or crowd control with speed teams. For example, like like Tyrone or Aria. A lot of guys use Aria in speed teams. So your aim is to go as many turns as possible and also that the enemy don't get to turn. So if you stun them and then you get two turns until he gets unstunned and then you get another two turns, you can run four turns before he gets one turn. But those teams are normally easily countered with a Chloe with high speed. So if you can run Fnatic on the first turn, the speed teams are most of the time useless because they just hit two or three turns into your shield and then you can kill them because most of the time they are pretty squishy. Yeah, the third thing, armor break and burst. For armor break and burst you need either a Darian or Jubel which is the, the dark Darian, the dark, wait what is it called, um, Wagabound, the dark Wagabound, yeah, or a Bella. Right at the moment I'm building myself a Bella because I think in in theory a Bella is stronger than a Darian. Yeah. And what else is there with armor break? I guess those are the most important armor breakers. Yeah, probably if you're lucky enough and you got a, a Monkey King, you can also use the Monkey King as armor breaker, but he's not as reliable as Darian and Bella because they have a 100% chance to armor break on their other tech. Yeah and for the burst, for the burst you can take any attacker like my Tyrone is, is running on attack, you can use a Jean or any other Phantom Thief, not the water, the water one is not a attacker. Yeah you can use a Rauk or whatever damage dealer you have, probably also a Lucian. Even though I think that the Lucian defenses aren't that strong anymore. You have seen a lot of Lucian defenses earlier, but probably they are still in the low low rank stage, but I don't know that. Yeah, and the last thing I can show you with my monsters, the double reviver. But as it is called, you use two revivers. I have only one, which is my Brian. And if I had a second one, I probably would use a double reviver defense because I, I personally think those are the most annoying defenses. If you run something like Veramos, double reviver, yeah, I have no second now, and a Chloe. If there would be another reviver like Iona, I guess this would be the most annoying defense. Yeah, and so now my thinking process is. First I want Vermos as leader to get more HP and so I can't get those much debuffs. As next I think I want the Chloe because Chloe is always annoying in defense. And then I need something that I won't get Lucian which is my Arnold. And I either want armor break for more kills or for more kill potential or I want more sustain. Right at the moment I go with more sustain because 
I only think Darren is really good in defense when you have revenge runes. I've pulled some good, re good revenge runes, but I will put them on Darien when there is the next rune removal, which will be in a few days. Yeah, so my current defense is this one. And yeah, I guess that's everything I wanted to say about arena defense. Yeah, just remember anti illusion, that's really important. Anti illusion. Yeah. And now let's just look at some arena defenses. What types you see here. This is something like, yeah, this should be an armor break burst defense. Burst? No, that was the wrong one. Burst, armor break burst sign. Yeah. But it is a little speedy with the Tyrone leader and a little tried for sustain, but I think that's actually. Such mixtures of defenses are not the strongest. So what would I take against this defense? I probably, yeah, I will outspeed this with my better speed leader than Tyrone. And with Chloe, as I said, against speedy teams. What else do I need? I want something to tank the armor break, which will be, be where Roma's. And at last I will I will take a Lucian so I can Lucian this and it is over pretty fast. Yeah so first the shield. Okay they're pretty slow actually. So I can stun now and focus on Tyrone first. All fallen boss settings. But you see, it's actually pretty easy against this defense because it has no real strong sustain. It has no real no real speed, so they all go before I do. And actually their Darian didn't even use his auto attack once. Yeah, I really think Darian is only good if he has revenge runes because if you use your attacker to hit Darian and he would revenge and put armor break on my Lucian and then everyone of the team would hit my Lucian, this would, this would be really painful. But like this, he just hits Veromos and I don't care when he hits Veromos. Yeah, so not the best defense here. Let's see if we can find a strong one. Yeah, this is a strong defense. This is speedy with Vanessa as leader and has a reviver. Then I really like Chutan. I have so much troubles against Chutan. Then we have a Juno, which is most of the time also really fast because of her first skill getting 50% of her attack power when critting. And yeah, Copper as a burster, as a tanky burster. I guess this defense will really cause me trouble. Let's see. Yeah, and I also really like the predicted future spell. As it is really strong, especially against my Chloe. So I'm a bit confused now what to use. I would really love to bring my Tyrone as an attacker, but I'm pretty sure that Copper will one-shot my Tyrone, so I can't use Tyrone here. So my attacker will be Rabuk, I guess, yeah. Then I will bring Jasuna's tank. Well, probably I will bring Bryant because I need a reviver. Because maybe Jewel Tan will go crazy on my Raok. But well, that's that's really tough. I need to think a little about it. Sorry for that. Hmm. <laughs> 
Are there a lot of debuffs? No, actually, yeah, a few. Mm, let's take Romas. Okay. I'm not quite sure if I should use Chloe, because Predicted Future is so strong against Fnatic. I guess I should go with Arnold. Yeah, let's try that one. Hmm, and whom should we focus first? I guess it will be Vanessa. Yeah, armor break, that's good. And a violent proc. Yeah, the only thing missing in his team is a healer. I guess with a healer it would be a little stronger. So now let's kill Tuna. Oh wow, with these rogues move this defense is actually not that strong as I thought. Yeah, but it, it looked quite strong, <laughs> even though it wasn't strong at all, it looked quite strong. I just thought for a moment I shouldn't hit this. And that's what most of the defenses are about. Yeah, here we have a 4 times fire defense, which is actually good against Lucians, but I wouldn't run 4 fire guys, because I just need something like this and I win for sure. Here I have double win tanks with armor break and a water damage dealer. You will soon see what this is good for. Especially if Chloe isn't fast enough and then Chloe does its shield. So I can freeze them. Armor break. Okay, no armor break. Whatever. First kill for Oak. Yeah, no, these are really strong, uh, really weak, sorry for that, really weak monsters, but anyway, this defense wouldn't be that strong. Because there is actually no kill, kill potential, if you have no armor break and you have just fire guys, the enemy can always predict who is going to be hit and it will always be the wind guy. And if you just bring a good enough wind tank to tank all the damage, then you have 100% you have won this match. Yeah, you should always think about it. Who is going to be hit in my team? And if you can always make a tank to be hit by the enemy, you most of the time going to win. As long as there are no 5 or 6 violent procs and as long as there is no armor break which will go on your attacker. That's why the revenge runes on Darren are so strong. Yeah, I guess that's it for today guys. I hope you got, a, you got an idea how to set your defense so you can improve in arena defense. And also generally in arena. Yeah, and that's it for today guys. Bye!